Hi Tubers. Here's this little GX160 again that we are working on for our mini bike project. And I had said in my last video that we had purchased uh, some performance parts for this engine. One of the things that I did find is I did purchase one of these um, aftermarket intakes for my Makuti carburetor. And when I went to install it on this engine, I noticed when um, you hold it against the block that it actually rocks back and forth. This surface um, on the intake is not flat. Um, so what I have done is I have taken a file and filed this surface flat on both sides. Um, this could create a vacuum leak and um, an issue with idling. Um, somebody had commented in one of their videos uh, simply use silicone on it and it would be fine. Guys, don't use silicone on this. Another question that uh, was emailed to me was, is on the valve cover, where do I put my pulse fitting for my fuel pump? Guys, I have just taken a regular fitting uh, that I had purchased to an auto parts store as well as an eighth inch um, female. Um, I turned the female down in the lathe, drilled a hole through the valve cover on this side of this cover. Um, when I did that, uh, I simply just soldered the female uh, eighth inch pipe fitting into the top of my valve cover as well as I had taken another fitting and turned it down in the lathe and soldered it here for my blow-by tube. Um, a couple issues that have been asked were um, why do I get oil uh, in the line going to my fuel pump? Usually that happens. Uh, somebody has tampered with this little check valve or they've taken this out completely. Um, I leave them in. I have had a couple go-karts where there have been uh, oil issues into the pulse line and what we normally find is that the filter for the blow-by tube is usually kinked off the hose or the filter is plugged. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll get the valve cover put on this engine and I will uh, file this surface on the intake so it fits nice and flush. I will make a gasket up for here and make sure that it has a good seal and uh, we'll go ahead and get the rest of our performance parts checked out and if there's any problems I will let you know. Thanks for watching guys.